I guess you might say that I live life by my own rules. I got a lot of lumps on my head, but I sure as hell did what I wanted to do in life. And I'm still gonna do other things. My name's Bert Stevens. I lived in 21 countries, 220 cities in the world, and 45 military bases. I'll be 87 in another month. Where the hell did all that time go? We were really talking about my wife, Mary. Well, we went to high school together. And prior to that, she lived across the street all her life. So it was like a movie type thing, I guess. I, huh, odd when you look back on your life. When I was a kid, I can remember my dad one day, he's painting a fence and I had built a rocket that was about this big around, about that long, solid gunpowder. And it fell on the ground and it spun round and round and I was screaming. I'm 10 years old and I'm running around and he's sitting and you can still see him slide down the fence with his bucket of paint and his big brush. And he's laughing. I told you he's gonna get to you one of these days. But he let me do anything I wanted to do when I was a kid. I went in when I was 16 years old. It was a paratrooper. I, Hard to believe that you live on $50 a month, but we did. And then they were going to give us another $50 just to jump out of an airplane. Well, what the hell? That was doubling my pay. I would do anything for $50. I was one of 2,000 people that jumped, parachuted into Korea with the 187 Regimental Combat Team. I put 10 years in the Army, and then I got out of, when I got to come back, I went into uh, the Air Force Reserve for 10 years. What we got involved in was uh, building a nuclear rocket engine, but we didn't know a damn thing about nuclear and didn't realize how dangerous this stuff was until years passed by and you find out that you get colon cancer from just being around the material to work with. Years later, I worked in the tunnels on the bomb well, my job was to be go in there with a technician and we wire up the bomb prior to detonation. And it really never bothered you until you got back out and you were witnessing the detonation from five miles away. And all of a sudden you decide, you said to yourself, that could have happened when I was in there if I hooked up the wrong wire. You could feel the sound in your feet, a rumble, a deep rumble. And you look across the desert and you see the earth raise up and you couldn't believe what we were seeing. Nuclear helpers, there's a lady that's a really great cook and she said, well, you're not eating enough, Bert, and she's a nurse. And she said, I'm coming over and I'm gonna make you some pot roast. And last night I had that pot roast and I ate three helpings of it and I never eat anything. And they always raise hell with me that I'm not eating enough. When did I retire? When I was 62 and that probably 25 years ago when I've been sitting on my tail ever since. And bored as hell. If it wasn't for this group called what nuclear partners coming in and waking me up again and say, hey Bert, there's no sense silently saying, don't lay down and die. You've got a lot of years ahead of you and showing me how to live again. <laughs>